I don't want to dream tonight. Tell me everything. The song is basically about a dilemma between like whether I want to sleep or I do not want to sleep because it's like going to sleep makes you get your rest and it makes you feel good, right? But at the same time, which, um, there's no point of me sleeping if I'm only going to dream about like terrifying things. So it's something that it's out of, out of my control in a way. So I decided to like, we decided to write a song out of it just as a reminder to tell myself that it's reality and I have to accept that I'm dreaming about things like that. So, do you remember the first time you woke up and you felt like, okay, I need to tell my bandmates about this? Like, do you remember that day? Or uh, night? I mean, they've always known about me going through these sort of things since we were like 12. And they've always been there with me and I've told them about <laughs> my experiences. <laughs> true, true. I mean, you 13. <laughs> yeah. um, so, I, oh, it wow. was, I didn't really have to tell them all about it when we wrote the song. I just had to tell them, okay, this is about my like struggles with these sort of things mm. and you know, very what do you call it, paranormal things I would say. Because I see it not only in my dreams, I would see it in real life as well. So Adrian was and that was you guys are just like, you know what, let's just write about this. It's all G. Or were you guys like, wait, what? Like what is this about? Like were you guys scared? I didn't know at first that it would even turn out to be a song about our dreams. We were just writing a song. Like every other song, you know, <laughs> because we just had so many ideas. But when Arif came with that idea, it made sense. Like, it felt like it was about time for Arif to speak about his experiences. So, yeah. You could expect different types of like directions that we're going for in our future songs. So, it's not going to be really like sweet or very, you know, like happy songs anymore. I mean, it's going to be a mixture of everything basically. So, there's more to expect from us. I feel it. Yeah. What we're looking at, I mean, if you go to your Instagram, I mean, if you it, it is basically like a castle in a purple, like, cloudy darkness. I'm looking at this right now, over here. So is this what you see in your dreams, Arif? Is this what you see? Is that why you want to sort of visualize this one in your artwork? Yeah, a um, funny story about that is that um, we worked with our director, Taki, and that was his idea. But what was funny was that I dreamt about something similar with the same uh, vibe, with the same environment, like that kind of very, I would say, Disney Channel looking haunted house kind of thing. And that appeared in my dreams. Mm -hmm. And basically I was stuck in this house where I was chased on by, do you know the ghost from the exorcism? The girl with the scars on her face? Uh -huh. Oh no, it's yeah. Brilliant. I was chased on by that one, but was, what was funny is that she was a very nice lady in the dream, which made it scarier for me. Okay, we're so excited for you guys. Um, this is like sort of like a new um, chapter for Minute Music, you know? Because it's, it's always like good vibes, it's always like, you know, love songs, and this is kind of spooky. So that's kind of interesting to see your journey. Um, what is the one thing you want your fans to take away from your new song, I Don't Want to Dream Tonight? Be open about it, because people when people tell you about your dreams, people are always saying, oh, it's just a dream, it's just this or that. But there's nothing wrong in like believing that it's a scary dream and you're gonna, if it affects your mental health in a way, and you know, people take sleeping pills for a reason sometimes, you know what I mean? And I feel like people don't take dreams seriously because it might just happen in your head or you're the only one that sees it. But I guess just be open about it and just tell your close friends about it and if they believe you, they believe you and if they don't, it's okay because I guess I believe you with this song, you know? If anyone's struggling about the same thing, like, I just want people to know that, like, I hear you and I understand what you're going through. Yeah. Alright, thanks guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Lily. Fly FM, today's hottest music.